Good morning. Yes, that is the road, open, open road in front of me. <laughs> I always wonder, it goes through my mind every time I decide to drive 17 hours to go on a hunting trip. It's really not that bad, I guess. Um, I always think, oh, I'll just sleep in the truck, but I don't sleep that good, which I did, so last night. A little more than halfway there. I get there early this afternoon, but yeah, it's just a lot of driving. And then to make it worse this year, I decided that I'm going to drive to Arizona four days after I get back from Colorado, so I must be crazy. I don't know what my deal is. <laughs> anyway, been pretty uneventful, but looking forward to being in the mountains, seeing some friends. And uh, finding some deer, hopefully. Sounds like we've got access to private ground again this year, which will be awesome, about 1,100 acres. Um, they've got some snow up there already, from what I'm told. There's some deer on the side of the road. It's good to see. Like some antelope. Oh, there's a bunch over this. I don't know if you can see them. There's probably a dozen over there. Maybe I need a antelope tag in New Mexico, I guess. So, anyway, planning to hunt that private ground and with the snow, we're hoping uh, later season dates that this year that it'll produce some good box. But the Colorado Division of Wildlife is trying to kill a lot more deer to try and help the uh, chronic wasting disease situation, CWD. So, it's probably not going to be any better for the next few years until they knock the deer herds down where they want to rebuild them. So we'll see what happens as we get out there each year and try and get after it. Maybe I'll have to hunt Wyoming for a couple of years while the deer, deer herd uh, rebounds. So, yep. Probably have some fun uh, memories from this trip. I'm going to meet up with Jake friend Steve and my other friend well it's Jake's friend that he brought to the group but Steven and um, hunted with him a couple years now it's been fun to get to know him so we're looking forward to it that sun's nice and bright all right well more to come only one thing I've had to deal with so far um, the truck for whatever reason the passenger door has decided to let a lot of uh, wind through when I'm going down the freeway it's just been really annoying so that was my fix the ratchet strap from the seat to the door handle to pull it tighter and uh, it actually worked so I can't complain about that right <laughs> hopefully uh, won't be a big deal to just take it off when I get there I don't think I broke anything all right, we'll talk to you later. Open and morning, boys. Open and morning. It's a nice warm morning where I think a storm's pushing us in here. But uh should be interesting to see what happens today. It's supposed to start raining off and on. A little bit of a breeze. And uh hoping to get a big buck down. It's just cracking daylight out there. So more to come. Well we just found a buck. Actually a few bucks. Bucked over here for so
storm's starting to move in pretty good. Yeah. We're on. Are you on? Yeah, we're on. Okay. Are you sure? Cut. Cut. <laughs> Scott. What's Ready? going on? Action. Take one. I'm the cameraman. I'm we invisible. Just, Alejandro. <laughs> so just, this will happen. <laughs> just came over this edge. Got one to stop. We walked over the brink here a little bit. We found a, a buck in the dough down and off the edge. So Stephen and I are going to go back with the four-wheeler. We're going to drive back around. Scott's going to stay here. And we're going to go kill a buck. I'm going to sit up here and pray that they find that buck. Take the bank, as Randy Newberg was saying. Okay, right. folks. We're on our way. <laughs> yeah. Down in there. All right, tell me what happened on your little trip down the mountain, guys. What happened? You were the one hunting. You were the one trying to kill the deer. Dude. Oh, all right. So, come on. So we get down there. YouTube man. Uh, looking for that deer and we're walking along and uh, find a doe. Couldn't tell it was doe, so we get set up just just to see what it was. And uh, Jake sneaks around and is able to not put any antlers on it. So. We were able to find another doe there too, but we weren't able to find the buck that was with them. So, got yeah. set up on a doe and decided not to pull the trigger. <laughs> that's right. So when you see that video of him set up, that's what he was. Yeah. He was hunting does, apparently. That's what happened. And now I just found six does over here. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now Scott found six does. I'm gonna find the nice buck. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. He gave me some uh, ignite, and that changed everything apparently. Looking good. Well, here's the does. Bunch of skinheads. We're waiting for a buck to come run them off. There's got to be a buck interested in a herd of does that size, so at least you know that's the <laughs> that's the idea. We're gonna stick to it. <laughs> like this evening, it should only be a matter of time before a buck comes and cruises them, right? You think? Yeah. So this is what you get to do when you've been on the mountain all day in the mud. <laughs> mud, mud, mud everywhere. So we've been at the Kairos for almost a half hour probably. Trying to get all the mud off everything. So, pretty exciting. Looking good.